Are you looking for effective prompts to generate rubrics using AI? Stay tuned to this video and I'll show you some quick tricks to using ChatGPT when generating rubrics for all different subjects. Welcome to AI for Teachers. I'm Jen Twydell. We all know how time consuming generating a well put together rubric can be. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the free version of ChatGPT to generate rubrics. I'll be walking you through three different scenarios. One, if you already have the assessment criteria that you're trying to generate the rubric for. Two, if you're needing suggestions for great criteria, I can walk you through those steps. And three, if you're looking for a bit of a combination, you have some criteria, but you'd like to add a few more to your rubric. So let's get started. So the first scenario I'm gonna walk you through today is if you already have the achievement standards and you're trying to generate a rubric from there. So in this scenario, you can use the prompt. So the first scenario, create an assessment rubric for a year four Haas assessment in table form. Use an A to E scale and include descriptors for each level and criteria. Use the following achievement standards to develop the criteria in the rubric. So the important things there are to give it what scale you want, if you're an A to E scale or a one to five scale. And you also need to remember to tell it that you want content descriptors for each criteria at each level. And that will then generate a table. If you don't put table form, it just does it in dot points. So that's another key feature to add to your prompt. So following your prompt, then you're just going to paste in the achievement standards that you're wanting to use and then generate the table. So you can see here that it will generate a table using the scale that you have suggested. It puts the criteria down one side, the scale across the top, and then it gives you a content and descriptor at each level. You can see that the cognitive verbs that it uses increase in complexity when you go up the scale. So at the beginning, they're just asking things like recognize, and then it goes to things like provides detailed descriptions and explanations. So it gives you a really nice um, increase in complexity as you move through the rubric. As you continue down, you can see that because I gave it a long achievement standard for that entire Haas unit, it has come up with quite a few different criteria. And for each of those, it has generated the A to E scale with a content descriptor for each. As with all tables in ChatGPT, I always recommend that you highlight it and copy and paste it into Excel. That way you can also play around with the widths of the columns and you can go in and edit any of the criteria or wording that you would like to change. The second scenario I'd like to walk you through is if you have a unit of work, but you don't have the criteria, well, let ChatGPT do the hard work for you. I simply put in the prompt, suggest marking criteria for a year three narrative text that could be used in a rubric. I found that this type of prompt, the suggesting criteria, letting ChatGPT know that it's for a rubric, obviously letting them know the subject, the more detail you give, the better criteria it's going to produce for you. So in this English unit, it's given me several criteria. I recommend just going through and seeing if there are some that you want to use or don't want to use. So following the suggestions, I use the prompt, use criteria one, two, three, four, and six, and create a rubric in table format. Complete the rubric with a one to five scale include descriptors for each criteria in the rubric. And as you can see, once it populates the table for you, it's in a similar formatting where it has um, increased complexity um, throughout the scale with descriptions for each level. Again, you can use what it generates or you can copy and paste into Excel and make any corrections that you need. You can also add different weights for each of the criteria on your rubric. So I simply use the prompt, 
Add weight to each criteria, including each of the descriptors, but add an additional column with a weight. The first criteria is worth 20, and the following four criteria are worth 10. So you can see that then ChatGPT regenerates the table, putting the weights um, down an additional column in the rubric. So in this third criteria, I used the same as in the last scenario, and I asked ChatGPT to generate some criteria for me. And I was specific about what the assessment was, and I linked it to my curriculum guidelines. So the prompt that I used was, suggest criteria to include in a year five science test about an experiment on changes in state, linked to the ACARA guidelines. So ChatGPT with that simple prompt, again came up with some suggestions, and I used the ones I liked to generate a rubric. But I felt like some criteria were missing. I wanted to include a criteria about using scientific language and also about how the student was able to understand fair test. So I simply added an additional row to the rubric by asking ChatGPT to include a criteria about the use of scientific language and ChatGPT was able to regenerate the table, adding an additional row with the criteria that I wanted. So if you have a base that you like, you can still go in and use prompts to update it and change your criteria. Of course, you can also do this once you've exported into Excel. So there are many ways to end up refining your rubric. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date when I generate some more videos. Remember to balance your work and well-being. This has been AI for Teachers, and I'm Jen Tuardell.